match haha <laughs> can we look at beyond meat or match uh, i follow both of them all right beyond meats is hitting a bottom match is uh by the way since you brought up match match is the only stock that the family has calls on that is betting that it's going to go up okay beyond me family had calls on as well but there was a little bump that happened and family sold out of that okay but if you want those let me bring them up let me set up the things we'll take a look at match match and let's bring it up here as well match hey where'd it go oh come on i hate websites that do you don't want them to do oh, refresh they automatically do it i don't know why they set it up like that match match okay let me change the view okay let me bring up the chat um cheryl there are a bunch of local places that have signs saying they are cashless or only take cars but if you ask they will take cash might be worth asking to spread the word that people want it yeah indeed uh pennsylvania pennsylvania okay uh cheryl if you don't mind me asking whether yeah um when this whole thing happened there were a few places that were not taking cash uh one of them was local and i boycotted them for a year uh afterwards because i didn't want uh, to spend my money there All right so here's match it's up five cents today okay let's take a look at the charts for it let's take a look at the one year chart for it okay so it's sitting well below the 50 day moving average and 200 day moving average there is a trend that's pointing on the downside but if you draw a line from here to here to here there could be possibly a downside to it but it broke its down trajectory here so you could draw a lot of lines to get a feel for what the stock is doing right so this is the one-year chart here's the two-year chart okay here's the two-year chart based on the two-year chart this could drop a lot more okay this could drop a lot more and here's a five-year chart Here's the five year chart. Based on the five year chart, it could drop a lot more. Take a look at match. In 2018, 17, it was sitting at $16. Right now, sitting at $133. Right? $133. And let's take a look at the overview on this. It's sitting at a P of 67. Okay. It's got a beta of 0.66. Ibita, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Ibita, this is basically accounting uh, practices, you know, what they're announcing. is 708, or let's say 800. That's really good. That's really good. Not bad, not bad, right? And you can go here. Uh, I won't go there. But you can also take a look at the options on it, right? So let's take a look at the options for let's say february All right here's the options for february for match so february 18th right it costs it's sitting at 133 dollars right so it's between 130 and 135 okay oops no 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 don't load ah poop it's sitting between 130 and 135 oh where'd it go uh, we're going to go back to February again. Let's go to February. So sitting between 130 and 135 at $133, right? Let's look at the 
straddle on this, right? So sleepy waves, let's make a note on this. Let's assume you're going to assume that match is going to do big movement by February, a week and three months, right? You can buy a, a put, let's say at 920, that you can you have the right to sell match at 135, right? And you can buy a call for match for 1055 that gives you the right to set, to buy it at 130, right? So put these together, right? Put these together. So one, let's say you're gonna straddle it. You're gonna bet that it's both gonna go up and down. So 1055 plus 920, 9.2. So it's going to cost you $19, right? Or $2,000 really, right? But let's assume it's going to cost you two, uh, $20, which is $2,000, right? So if you put $2,000 into this, right? It means you are buying a put, the right to sell it at $35, and a right to buy it at $30. You need this stock to go down, right? So if you're putting $20, you need to be at 115, right? Oh no, don't go, don't go, don't go. Oh, pooper scooper, I did it again. February, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> so, uh, are we in February? We're in February. Okay, right. So we're here, right? So you need it to be at least if you, for the put, okay, or for the call, you need the stock to be at least trading at one hundred and fifteen dollars for you to break even, right? So that's twenty dollars above this. So take a look at this thing. At one hundred thirty-five right now, if you go twenty dollars above this, it's at one hundred fifty-five, right? At one hundred fifty-five is trading at twenty-three dollars. 23.50 let's say right so there is a three dollar premium there relative to what it would be if it was expiring today right relatively speaking because it's 133 dollars right or you need it to be above 150 dollars here for you to break even on february 18th right because if you go twenty dollars less than this you're at $110, you're sitting at $24, $25, right? So one way you can get a feel for how much the time value premium is on a certain option is take a look at the option of what it would cost, what it would give you, what you would lose if it was expiring today, and look at what it is whenever the time frame is that you're buying it for us we're looking at february 18th okay is that clear that's one way of looking at this